Thank you for clicking on the video. Uh, here today, I'm going to talk about what's sitting in front of me, this Marantz DP870 LaserDisc Demodulator. So stay tuned. So if you've watched my realistic endgame video that I posted a little while back, I talked about some realistic endgame items that I think I could get here in my home theater, you know, in the next five to ten years and stuff that I wanted that I felt was realistic and attainable here for my home theater. And one of the things that I mentioned in there is that I wanted to get a laser displayer that was AC3 uh, capable, that had AC3 audio on it. Uh, now, to kind of preface all this, I'll go into a little bit of information uh, from what I know about LaserDisc and AC3. The AC3 format is basically a format that allows for Dolby Digital 5.1 surround sound. And it was introduced on LaserDisc back in, I believe, the early 90s. And the reason I want that here in my home theater is because there's a lot of AC3 laser discs that basically poured over the theatrical audio mixes of a lot of catalog films. And so they're more dynamic. They have a lot of, you know, range in between the highs, the peaks in the sound and the lower kind of valleys in the sound. And they're just much more dynamic and they are actual theatrical audio mixes versus a lot of more modern DVDs and Blu-rays and 4Ks that have near field mixes or home audio mixes where the surround's been retooled to fit a more standard home audio listening experience. And while that's good and, you know, whatever for its own thing, I do also enjoy the authenticity of wanting to listen to catalog titles with catalog, you know, theatrical audio that came from a theatrical release, you know, just to at least experience it, you know, once or twice, especially for movies that I've never seen theatrically because I was too young or just whatever, didn't get a chance to do it. And so that's where this AC3 uh, laser disc player and demodulator and everything come in. Now, in order to actually get an AC3 audio experience in your home theater, you're gonna need a couple of things. Uh, you're gonna need not only a laser disc player, uh, you're going to need one that's AC3 capable. Now, you're going to have to look, not every laser disc player is going to be AC3 capable. Uh, you have to look basically on the rear of the unit is going to be the easiest way to kind of determine this, especially since these units are all being sold used and secondhand. They're not made new anymore. Uh, on the back, and I'll use this one kind of as an example, you're going to see all the audio inputs and outputs back here. On a laser displayer, it's gonna look the same thing. It's gonna have your left and right, you know, stereo audio, analog audio, but it's also gonna have sometimes a single plug or dual plug like this on here that will say uh, AC3 under underneath it. And that's what you wanna get on a laser displayer. If it doesn't have, if it just says PCM or mono, uh, you're not going to get AC3 audio. Even if you have everything else that you need for it, you need to have a laser disc player that can process and output the AC3 on there. So that's the first thing that you're going to need. The second thing you're going to need is going to be either a demodulator such as this or a vintage receiver that has the AC3 demodulation built in to it. And same like I showed on this, you need to have one that says AC3 on it. And every demodulator, I mean, to my knowledge, like 100% or 99.9% .9 of them are going to have that. I mean, that's what they're built for. So I, I don't think you're going to find one without it if you find a demodulator. But if you were to find an older vintage like Pioneer or Marantz, uh, stereo surround receiver. Again, you're going to want to look to find one that has a plug that says AC3. If it just has the standard left and right, you know, analog audio or one that says PCM, uh, that's just going to give you stereo. You're not going to get the actual AC3 audio unless you have a receiver with an input that can process that or a demodulator that can process it and then output it. 
And then, of course, the last of the three items you're going to need, outside of having, obviously, you know, a TV or a projector or something to display the image and stuff or speakers to play the audio, you're going to need a Laserdisc that has an AC3 audio track on it. And not every Laserdisc has that. Same like the receivers or same like the players. Laserdiscs have both stereo pressings and... AC3 surround sound pressings that have been, you know, produced over their lifespan. So when you go to buy a laser disc, you're going to want to read the back of the sleeve or the box, you know, depending what kind of laser disc it is, and see if it says AC3 on there. Uh, because if it doesn't, if it just says PCM or stereo or whatever, then that's not going to give you the surround sound. It's only going to give you stereo or mono channels on it. So you want to make sure it says AC3. And most of the time, that info is going to be listed on the rear of the packaging, uh, as well as sometimes if it still has maybe a slip, like plastic slip cover wrap on it, sometimes it'll have a sticker that says AC3 on there, depending where it was produced and, you know, what company and what store sold it. But, you know, it'll pretty much 99% of the time say on the back uh, of the sleeve whether or not it's got the AC3 audio. Now, once you have all that out of the way, uh, the whole reason and where I found this unit at, uh, and some history on this. So this is a Marantz product. It's a DP870. Uh, from what I understand from doing a little research online, this demodulator was part of an actual Laserdisc home theater, home audio like set. It had its own Marantz Laserdisc player that had AC3 out on it. This demodulator that allowed you to process the AC3 and then an actual surround sound receiver that would allow you to output uh, the sound of your speakers and whatever. And it was bundled as a set of all three pieces together. And when I bought this, I obviously, it didn't come with the laser disc player or the receiver. It was just the standalone demodulator. And even though this is a Marantz product, uh, demodulators are somewhat universal. They don't have to be paired exactly with something like this, with its specific laser disc player or, or its specific surround sound receiver. They're somewhat universal. They're like any other component you would get in your home audio or home theater setup. Uh, this one is compatible with any receiver that's out there, any laser disc you know player that's out there. Again, provided that. The Laserdisc player has AC3 out, and for the receiver side on this, which I'll flip this back around again, uh, the way this demodulator works and the way all the demodulators pretty much work is that it takes the AC3 input, it inputs it here, and then it outputs in a 5.1 just analog direct audio out. And so you need to have a receiver that can accept a 5.1 multi-channel in just directly, not a coax or a toss link or anything. It has to have the actual analog inputs on the receiver, which my Rotel unit that's back there has that. So what I can do is when I eventually find a laser disc player, I can output the AC3 into this demodulator, and then this demodulator will output the 5.1 direct audio into my 5.1 input on my Rotel receiver. And then I just switch my, you know, connection on the receiver to the 5.1 input, and I should be good to go for the sound. And it'll output it to my speakers and everything here in, in the home theater. And getting this unit here was, uh, as I said in my end game item video just kind of like a preemptive step i guess of finding one of these and getting it here in house and having it ready so when i find a laser displayer down the road however long it takes that this is already here and this is a step that i don't have to take then after the fact and this unit is pretty well built i mean this thing weighs 10 15 pounds probably i mean it's a pretty hefty built unit it's uh like all metal on here except for some like faux wood design paneling on the side all the connections in the back like you saw just a minute ago they're all metal they're gold plated uh everything on here is real high quality this is a real sturdy high quality unit and i bought this off of shop goodwill and normally these units 
and demodulators and kind of the surround sound stereo receivers that have AC3 capabilities vary from you know, usually around $100, $150 on a lower end, up to some of them if they're in really good condition, you know, several hundreds of dollars up nearing like $1,000 on some of the things I've seen in the past. And I ended up finding this on Shop Goodwill for $53 in one penny. For that price, I was a little skeptical that this wasn't gonna work in the description it said it did. Uh, but you know, you always gotta take that stuff with a grain of salt uh, because you can't see it personally. So I was worried this wasn't gonna work. And when I got it here, granted, I don't have a laser disc player, so I can't fully test that out <laughs> on here, obviously. But from plugging it in, turning it on, testing all the buttons and knobs that are on here, looking at all the inputs and outputs on the back, looking at the power cable, the components on the inside, it turns on, it seemingly does everything that it should do. All the connections are good, nothing's bent or broken. The plug looks good, it's not damaged or frayed. This should uh, conceivably work like it should once I get a laser disc player here. And so for $53, this is an absolute bargain steal price. Uh, because even these exact units, when I checked just before making this video, uh, are the lowest I found was I think like $110 for this. So I got it for half the price of what one of those would cost on eBay right now. Um, and it does have, you know, a little wear and tear. There's some, you know, scuffing and scratch marks up here, but overall it's not dented in, you know, it, it looks to be in fairly good condition. So I'm extremely happy with, with this purchase. And like I said, it's just more of a preemptive step to have already here in house so when i find a laser disc player i can just plug and play put it in to my uh, input on my receiver and i should be good to go and uh like i said this is a really neat unit it, it's you know definitely a, a hefty uh solid piece of equipment and you know from a reputable brand with morants so anyway so yeah that's just a little info about this uh demodulator here hopefully you know you guys found some entertainment or educational you know use out of it and uh, like i always do to wrap up i just want to say thanks to everybody i really do appreciate everyone who's watched any of my videos who's commented liked the video subscribed to the channel i, I really am humbled by that like i always say it's you know it kind of blows my mind that this early on in my youtube career i have as many people as i do interested in my content uh so with that i'm gonna say thanks again and i've got more uh videos lined up in the feed coming out soon so be on the lookout and i'll see you in the next one thank you